Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Let's jump straight into the reading. I've got all my decks with me and I'm going to start as always with an oracle deck. Today it's going to be the whispers of the ocean. As I am living by the ocean right now, it's very appropriate. <laughs> I mean, you could probably say it almost about every destination that I'm staying in, you know, during my stay in Hawaii. Because one way or another, I'm somewhere close to the ocean. I just realized that yeah in my you know it's not it wasn't even done on purpose but it just worked out that way and with hawaii since the islands are mostly not that big most of the accommodations are actually based around the coast and most roads and infrastructure are based around the coast that's why it works out that way it's not even me trying to find locations but on the coast it's for that reason <laughs> and i do need to be able to get around easily so Okay, let's see what we have for Divine Feminine first of all. I was on an amazing tour today. So I'm recording this at the end of my day so, so that you guys can get it uh, at the beginning of your day in time, you know, with the time difference and all that stuff. And we went to Halekala Volcano and we had this view into the crater and it's so gorgeous i wish uh i had more time to not just today but just generally i could come back and uh take a proper hike like alongside the crater they do that there are trails you can do it of course with the guide um but i i'm not i already have so many plans and I'm also changing my dislocation from time to time, like every couple of days, starting Saturday. So I'm just not gonna have the time to do that. But, and the energy, you know, cause it takes energy if you're really doing it right. Uh, it's pretty massive territory, I would say, <laughs> but it still was, it was breathtaking to experience that. So yeah, highly recommend if you are in Maui, definitely Halakala is not, not the tour to miss. Or you don't have to do the tour you can drive up it's probably payment for entrance i'm guessing uh, but it shouldn't be a lot it's a national park it has a uh, status of national park but uh you know usually it's like 20 or 30 bucks to get in and uh, then you can spend as much time as you want and you can read the pamphlets you can read the info all around you know, like it's not, I, I wouldn't say that our guide actually told us a lot of extra information, to be honest. It was mostly self-exploration, so you might as well just take a car and drive there and get a regular entrance ticket. So, uh, Divine Feminine, number 44. Who would have thought, right? Unexplained wonder. Yes, baby. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your, ans all your prayers are answered now so it's not even like they are going to be answered or keep going you know you're on the right track no this is like you've done the homework you've passed the exam with an a you know so now your miracles are pouring in well done unexplained wonder yeah i'm only getting the a quick message that it will be unexplained but please do not question it do not bring that energy of doubt into it. Okay, let's see what we have for the masculine. I like that start. 4-4. Four, four. I mean, come on. For the masculines, we've got disengage from outcomes, number 48. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. I think we had this kind of energy in the last reading for Divine Masculine to be able to forgive and release uh, both for yourself and for other people involved. So this is a, again, this, like a continuation of that storyline, which makes sense, of course, because I normally have you guys like, a, it's already a, you know, a collective of you that's watching. So it's, uh, it makes sense that we continue on this journey. And it's important to continue to heal and release, heal and release. So for the masculine, the message is actually you're on the right track, keep going, more work needs to be done in this area. But it's not like uh, you are not going to see the results, you are going to see the results immediately. 
right it's just that right now it's like you are in a work in progress stage no like if you imagine a kanban board um which is basically for those who have never heard of that approach to uh, task management is it's like a board with uh, it can have three columns can have more than three but the basic kanban board would have three columns and um, where all the tasks will be located for your project your release your product whatever scope you are working with right and so the columns the, the basic columns would be to do in progress done right so the, for the feminine like the task that she's been working on is in the done column now like it's you know it's time to acknowledge that and celebrate more or less for the masculine it's in that in progress column so there's still work uh ahead right but you're doing it you're progressing nicely if you were doing the status update it'd be like yeah we are on track maybe even i don't know a little bit ahead of time just in case you know so everything's progressing nicely Let's see what we have for the energy of Divine Feminine. Woo! The higher femme than the Six of Swords. Yeah, so this is moving on to being comfortable with your mission, with your role, and with being in the spotlight. And um, it's it has a positive connotation in this case. It's like you are getting the peace of mind now with your role as somebody extraordinary. You know, it's not easy to be able to get your head around that concept. Um, either we are like too shy and don't feel worthy, or, you know, we feel overconfident and kind of like, there's usually like going in, into extremes there right it's hard to get it right so it's a healthy confidence right healthy confidence is not easy right so this is like you getting into that healthy confidence space where you know you're huge you don't feel like you have to prove anything to anyone yourself or otherwise you know other people and you just know that you have a lot ahead of you or maybe you already have a lot going on people need you you can see that and you are embracing that and you are um it's encouraging you to step further into mission maybe to expand your audience maybe to add some more ways to communicate with your crowd or whatever it is right depending on what you do where you are right now nice i love it for the masculine we have eight of swords in reverse what else love that it's in reverse finally that's part of that disengage from outcomes you know focus on the progress strengths exactly show strength show this again this is like i was just talking about um healthy confidence to me this this is strength card is also about healthy confidence and courage healthy confidence and courage that's what's needed right to keep going without necessarily overthinking all the scenarios and a lot of them inevitably take us to like a bad place you know to a low vibe energy where if it's not working out it's like it's gonna be a disaster or we're gonna be a laughing stock or something okay the energy of the connection and i like that there is a major arcana in each of the for each of the twins so it means that the divine guides are the divine and the guides are supporting uh, each of the twin collectives, right? Was kind of like, oof, I'm hearing was the energy of generations, of ancestors, right? Like the lessons that have already been learned uh, by previous generations, like, like that body of knowledge is being passed on through downloads, through dreams, through signs uh, to support the twins on this journey. It's beautiful. Okay, for the connection space, we have Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Very interesting, both Eights. Eights are about taking action, about um, making progress, right? Conf again, confident progress I'm hearing in this case particular, right? This is being able to walk away from stuff that is there, you know, because it's a habit or you feel obligation, like, um, 
to do, uh, let's just say that like you have obligation to do that. It's leaving those things behind and it's also working towards your personal goals, right? And I don't mean personal, like personal, like, I don't know, um, just for things that you need immediately. It still can be uh, working towards your mission, right? With helping other people, with being the light and shining, you know, to support others. But it's more like the goals that you've created, not the goals that someone else would create for you if you went for like a consultation or a coaching or a therapy, right? Like, and you would be all oh, in therapy, it's probably less relevant. But anyway, right? Like, if there is somebody external that's creating that for you, or you are following the trends or whatever, like what do other people do, right? Even in the mission, in, in our light work mission, that could happen, right? We see other people on YouTube or those light workers who have made it, who have podcasts, books, courses, whatsoever, right? Who have more a lot larger audience and we're like okay so they made it that way so that's what i'm gonna do right and that's exactly the opposite of your thinking of your mindset that you should be following right so this is like focusing on your inner guidance of what you should be doing how you feel you want to present that to your audience i love it and that actually works for both twins because guess what the masculines are like and I gave you an example of a uh, mission so that it makes some sense for the DFs because DFs are usually more driven towards that and it's a little different context than doing it in 3D way. For masculines, it could be more 3D oriented or it could also be mission oriented, right? Because DMs are also different DMs are in different part of their path. But the important thing is that that work, the Eight of Pentacles that each of the twins are doing, and that's why it's in the connection space. It's actually connected them. <sighs> because, and that's what enables them to support each other energetically. That's what gets them into that space of high vibe and thrill, you know, thrill of uh, being in your element, of helping others, of seeing feedback, of um, even discovering or learning more about yourself, right? Uh, like that's what gets them to that frequency where they can communicate and do that support. That's beautiful, I love it. Okay, let's get messages. Let's get messages from DM to DF. That was fast. I think we should slow down. Anything else? That's yeah, scary out there. <laughs> One sword, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, this is funny. So DMs don't actually want to slow down. Like with the drive that they have, with the desire that they have for DMs, uh, and we saw that the other day, again, this is continuation of the story of how much desire they have for DF and they want to be together. They are trying to follow like the truth and you know, the, um, the energy of the moment of the space of the time that it's not the time yet and we should slow down because um, so that we don't have to like go quickly and then get stuck, go quickly and then get stuck for the 3D to catch up with for different circumstances that are supposed to get orchestrated and to play out their part together, you know, not to be in that waiting space because that's what creates anxiety. Uh, that's what creates uncertainty and doubt. Am I on the right track, right? Like sometimes it's a very interesting thought. Sometimes it's, that's literally the message that I got just now that that could happen if you're going too fast. And um, yeah, and uh, so it's like, everything works so great, but there is no rush. Like, you know, sometimes also our brain is giving us the sense of urgency that because we have so much to accomplish, in this lifetime and you know there are expectations um that we need to hurry up that the progress should be very tangible very measurable right and it should be it should never be a plateau it should always be uh going higher 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 and that creates pressure and that's never a good energy to be in so this is like that message of like in even with our connection right like it seems like 
you know, we may be running out of time because of certain events in life, because of age, how much time we have to spend together, like that kind of silliness. But those are not the reasons to be stressed about it. We have all the time we need. Time is a made up construct, construct anyway. Okay, messages from DF to DM. I miss you, do you? And one want. Yeah, so there is more of a sexual drive right now from today from feminine, right? Last time I was from masculine, now from feminine. So there is that flow of energy in between, you know? And uh, yeah, there is a sense of missing the person, especially because for uh, the feminine energy, it's the bond is um, primarily happens on that, even on that sexual level through emotional bonding, through emotional connection, right? So it immediately uh, creates that feeling of longing, of missing a person, you know, when they feel that um, passion, that drive, especially if you've already been with your person sexually and, you know, you have those memories, right? To bring back to yourself and to work through. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm actually glad that it was a little bit of a shorter reading, but still so many profound thoughts. I need to take some notes for myself and uh, work with it in my meditation to see how I can apply it to my own journey. I hope this was good for you guys. Thank you so much. I'm still planning to start uploading the horoscopes in the next couple of days. I plan to start recording them tomorrow, and that means that they'll probably start publishing somewhere well, for you is going to be like saturday i guess um which is april 1st would make sense right <laughs> so yeah hopefully this weekend i'll be able to um to release them all i love you guys and i'll talk to you again very very soon that's going to be on my other channel for those who are new mindful bamboo is my other channel where i'm posting horoscopes for each zodiac sign on a monthly basis and of course, if you like this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.